The Tacticlops event has officially begun in Halo Infinite, bringing 10 free cosmetics that players can earn by completing challenges. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at these cosmetics, as well as the weekly reward that's available, going over what sort of challenges you have to do, and whether or not it's worth doing. So how's it going Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. So first off, let's of course talk about the items that are here. So on the very first tier, you get the Claw Patrol stance. This is a nice enough stance where the Spartan is holding a battle rifle. It's definitely quite a tactical looking stance, and I do quite like it. It shows off my pretty drippy battle rifle, so I'm okay with this. Next up, you get the Phalanx Visor, which again is quite nice. Now, initially I thought it was a greyish colour, but it looks to be more of a blue, I guess, with like red stripes going across it. It's, it's a nice enough visor. Can't quite place my finger on what colour it is, but it does look cool. At tier 3, you get the Emil Weapon Charm. This is a weapon charm of Emil's helmet. It's decent enough. Tier 4, you get the Lone Wolf Backdrop. It's a backdrop, so it's not something I care about at all, but, you know, maybe some people will like this. Tier 5 is probably the main thing that you're here for, which is the Mark V Zeta Helmet. This looks amazing, and I'm really glad to finally see it in-game. This is definitely the main thing that I'm bothered about with the event, as it looks great. After that, you also get the Type 3ZY chest piece. This is a decent enough chest piece. It's not my personal favourite. Definitely has that tactical look, and I do think it looks pretty decent. After that, you get the Grenade Pack Utility piece at Tier 7. Uh, I think this looks sick. This is definitely one of the better Mark 7 Utility pieces. Really like this. Definitely going to use this when I unlock it. Then you get the Tigress Gloves. It's nice to actually get some free gloves for the Mark 7. I do think the default ones are better, personally, of course but it's nice that we finally got some after that you get the scorpion punch armor coating now this is what i use the most in the flight i think this coating looks amazing and i can't wait to unlock it in the full game so i'm glad that this is finally here and after that you get the moros attachment for the mark 5 helmet this does look cool i prefer it without the attachment but this does look really cool still gonna unlock it and probably will use it for a little bit when i get it but i do prefer the helmet without the attachment there's also the 355 visor which you get for completing all of your challenges that's the ultimate reward this week uh, and honestly i like this it is another green visor i think this is the fourth one now however it is a really nice visor and it is one of the better green visors in my opinion to unlock these rewards you've got to complete the tactical slayer challenges these consist of a variety of tasks within tactical slayer it can be get kills with certain weapons the mangler sidekick battle rifle depending which version of the mode you're on of course you're going to be able to do those challenges by just getting kills uh, and then there's some more aggravated ones like get back smacks or stop an enemy killing spree but these are all done in the event tactical slayer mode make sure you go on the event version and not the normal version which is for some reason still on there and doesn't count towards any of your challenges overall as far as the cosmetics go in this event i think the rewards here are all phenomenal i think there's some really cool stuff and they're definitely worth unlocking if you're willing to invest the time into tactical slayer i'm not a huge fan of tactical slayer but i will put up with it for the sake of this mode and i'm for the sake of these rewards sorry but i'm glad there's some variants of it to keep it feeling fresh i like that we get to use different weapons rather than it just being the battle rifle all the time so i do enjoy that even if it maybe isn't enjoyable with some of those other weapons, I like that there's that bit of diversity with the mode. It's a shame we haven't had any brand new mode. Of course, Cyber Showdown had Attrition, which was an amazing addition, so it would have been nice to have seen them add King of the Hill early or some other mode for Tacticlops, but I'm completely fine with the swap variants. I'm glad that they're there. I, it, like, I do enjoy them. Uh, I really enjoy it with the Mangler. I actually think it's pretty fun. And obviously next week we're going to get Commando and Stalker Rifle variants. So I'm excited to see how they'll play. But anyway, let me know what you think of the event down in the comments below. Do you like the rewards here? Are you a fan of the modes? Let me know. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Also, consider sharing the video. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year and I'm hoping we can even reach 800 by the end of March. I know that's a bit of a bit of a long shot but i think it's an achievable goal cheers again for all the support at the minute folks and i'll catch you all in the next one